guys, it's Kathy1221 here. I'm doing a review for Clash of Champions today. It was an awful pay-per-view. I'm not kidding. The fucking thing didn't make... It was not fun. The crowd, which crowd was not even into it. Uh, the, the last match was not even good. Only match that was great was uh, the Divas match. And, and it, it was so fucking terrible. I mean, how in the hell are you going to not make a pay-per-view for the first pay-per-view of Raw make it bad because the fucking first pay-per-view of SmackDown was amazing. How in the fuck does that happen? I don't think that Raw doesn't know how to make their pay-per-views good because they have, a, they have the great talent but they don't know how to fucking use them. And they should give it to fucking Seth Rollins but they won't because they fucking uh they're not giving him a chance because now he's turning face he's gonna fucking do a or a uh, rivalry with Triple H, she he, and Seth Rollins got hurt during the match, so he's kind of out on action for a little while. He's kind of uh, in the storyline, but he's still hurt. So I don't even know why I even bothered trying to watch it. The only reason why I watched it because I knew it was gonna be bad. I just wanted to watch it because it was something my friends and me did. It was so fucking terrible. The only match, I mean, the only match that I liked was uh, the Divas match because that match was outstanding and it was so fucking fun to watch. That was the only one that was good. The pre-show, I didn't even watch it. And I don't even know. So like, if the, I, it's just a half-ass review. I didn't even want to do uh, an angry rant on wrestling because I love wrestling. And I don't even want that. So if the verdict of the Clash of Champions would be 1 out of 10, so bad. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and like this video. We need to do the help out. See ya.